Welcome to Adigy. In this video, we're going to learn how to easily deploy custom software packages through your platform. So please follow along. The first step we need to do is first select which software we want to be able to deploy through our platform. In this case, I have chosen Zoom. Since it's a very popular video conferencing tool that we all are very familiar with and want probably to deploy to our end users. So in this case, I have downloaded Zoom from the download center. The latest version is 5.10.4. So I'm just going to copy this information. I'm going to need that later. Now I'm going to head back to Adigy, go to the catalog, go to software, make sure I'm in smart software, click on new. I'm going to name this software Zoom Training. The version which I just copied from the website is 5.10.4. Next, I need to select my installation files. In this case, I'm going to Use the Zoom PKG file that I just downloaded from the website. I'm going to click Upload New. And I can just simply drag and drop. I'm going to click on Show and Finder there. Be able to drag and drop and click Upload. Great. Now I need to select my Zoom PKG file that I just downloaded once it gets uploaded to Adigy. I can simply click on the file itself, click on Select, and automatically a couple of things happen. The first one, if you noted that there's an application that shows apps found, that's great. It means that you have PBPC profiles that you can use Adigy to whitelist with. What that means is that those prompts that the end user gets, you can probably whitelist them through Adigy without having to build a separate PBPC profiles or what Apple calls them privacy preferences policy controls. If you want to learn a little bit what those are, there's a separate video that can help you out with that. So I'm going to select app right here where it says add PPPC rules for. I'm going to select zoom.us. I'm going to click add. If I click on a drop down menu, I'm able to see which prompts get automatically allowed. Just keep in mind that microphone, camera, listen events, and script capture always require a prompt as per Apple. Now, you can always make screen capture make available for standard users to automatically approve it without the need of an admin user. So in this case, I have done that. Great, I'm all done with my PPPC profiles. No need to build that configuration separately. The next step is for me to be able to add my installation script that gets automatically generated by Adigy. That's awesome. My installation script is already there. Perfect. Let's move on to the condition script. The condition script essentially means that it's going to check either for the path or the application version of the software that is installed on the machine to make sure that it doesn't deploy it again every time the policy runs, which the policy runs every 30 minutes. So this means that essentially you're going to choose which method is better for you. But we all strongly recommend that you will always add a condition script into your de software deployment. In this case, I'm going to choose application version. So I'm going to say, call it successful if the following application path exists. So I'm going to say zoom.us.app. Great. And then it says has an older version of. In this case, I'm going to paste that older version of 5.10.4. I'm going to click Add to Script. What this means essentially is going to check that if there's a current version of Zoom that is older than 5.10.4, it's going to go ahead and override it and update it to the latest. In addition to that, if there's no Zoom installed at all, it's going to go ahead and also deploy the latest version to that machine, which is great. Now, the next step is to essentially go into removal steps. With removal steps, we have one or two choices if we want to be able to do this. By adding a removal step, you can just simply add the path on which Zoom is going to be installed in case you ever want to remove Zoom from a policy and remove it from the end user's devices at the same time. What this means is that if you want to be able to remove Zoom from the policy and make sure that no users have it installed after being removed, simply add a directory path and add to script. In order to do this, in this case, I'm going to do forward slash applications, forward slash zoom.us setup. I'm going to click add to script. Great. Simply save the package. Now, my next step is to be able to assign the Zoom training application into my policy. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I need to go into my policies. Once I select my policy, I'm going to select Adigy Training as my desired target policy where I want to be able to deploy Zoom into. I'm going to go into the software tab right here. Now I have my smart software tab. 
automatically available. I'm going to search for Zoom training. Great. Simply click on it, click add, add to policy, and confirm. Now, I have one or two options. I can easily wait for the next policy deployment to happen, or I can override that timer by just clicking deploy. I can just click OK, and it will automatically deploy at the moment. If I want to see the status of that deployment, I can click on overview, click deployment status, and be able to see where that's at. Right now, it's pending on my device right here. Now that I have deployed this into my policy, I can see that one of my target devices that are enrolled into this policy have already received the Zoom install, and you can see that was successful. Thank you very much for joining this video. Please follow the next video on how to be able to create monitoring items in Adigy. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day.